How is it going today? Lois, Lois. Kamaris Dwayne. My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jasmine. So we have the All Ones Out. The internet changed me. It, sh it changed me too. Mm -hmm. Changed everyone. Changed everything. I would say it changed our lives. 100%. 100%. It didn't change me. Okay. Well, you're, you're, you're different. Okay. Yeah, I'm Let me still, stop. I'm still saying. You're still saying. Okay. Excuse me. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have any rest of us, please follow social media in the link edition below. Don't forget to subscribe. And join our Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, we have anime up there. A lot of new stuff is going to be up there. We have Every week on Friday. Every week on Friday. Um, Chainsaw Man. Mm hmm. Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Mob Psycho. And many more. Mm -hmm. We got polls and stuff. Come on and join in. Mm -hmm. You will enjoy it. I'm telling you. We got ourselves up. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's dive on in. May I have your attention, please? Your attention. No. Please. May, may I have some? Please. <laughs> What if I put up gameplay of Subway Surfer new. and used a robot voice? Would, would that keep you stimulated? <laughs> Remember Wikipedia Subway Surfer? Wikipedia says that people born between the year 1981 and 1996 are part of a group called Millennials. millennials. And I am a 96 baby. Hello. Oh, I'm a 94. Back. What's up? I'm cussing made on it. that millennial yeah. Gen Z line. So I can relate to all you Gen Zers, okay? You Zoomers out there. Right. Means. I know what drip means, and I also don't remember where I was when 9-11 happened. However, Gen Z, there is a difference between us. We're both a generation that grew up on the internet. Yeah, and but didn't you have it. grew up really. with the internet. Yeah. We grew up with, with it. the internet. Yeah. yeah. The internet didn't used to always look like this. <laughs> yeah. It metamorphosized a multitude yeah, of times. Yeah, MySpace now, and all that. Now, if you talk to an yeah. older millennial, they'll tell you the horror stories of the <laughs> late 90s internet. How the internet used to be paired on with your phone. home's landline. Right. Yes. If you don't know what a landline is, good. If you, you wanted right. to surf the net at blazing Ooh. speeds of seven kilobytes a second, then you couldn't use your telephone at the same time. Oh, oh, I get this in trouble for that. This was before texting yep. even existed. Yep. So if you needed to talk to someone, you had to call them and look mm -hmm. up their phone mm -hmm. number in that 20-pound weapon known My as a phone book. And then the if someone pages. else was using yep. the internet, they'd get the pleasure of listening to you. That. Oh, yep. my God. Oh, Although you guys don't want to know. If I had to make a sound mm. that represented the entire internet, it would sound exactly like this. Yes. I didn't grow up with dial-up, but I did grow up in a time where the internet looked completely different. AOL. AOL. Oh. I was exploring the interwebs. We got speeds up to one megabyte per second. <laughs> so the highest quality video you could stream on YouTube was in 240p, or this big. <laughs> yeah, a square. it would still buffer. Oh yes, 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 Gen Z, bro. you weren't there. <laughs> you had a five-star scoring system, and yep. the subscribe yep. button was yellow, yep. and people would put these things all over their videos. Oh. Mm -hmm. You weren't there when the videos were in a four-by-three aspect ratio yep. because the that's bar. what TVs looked like. Yep. You weren't there when a background for a website would be a never-ending grid of a JPEG, and music would play against your will, and your cursor would turn into a sparkly wand, and... Okay. That was kind of fun, though. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happened to that? Yeah. And the person who built the website would go, hmm, it's looking pretty good. But you know what this web page really needs? More cat. A counter that'll tell you the total number of people who visited. Let me oh. yeah. just copy this HTML code I found online. And if you're around my age mm -hmm. and you also had unsupervised computer time, then great. You were also there to experience the pre-puberty years of the internet. Mm -hmm. Try to imagine the internet without social media. Yes. No Facebook, Twitter, yep, Instagram, that or MySpace. Were people back then just not talking about themselves or sharing their opinions online? No. Were we as a society more connected with the people we knew in the real world? Kinda, yeah. No, of course not. <laughs> people have been sharing their opinions online since day one. They were just doing it on random message boards. Oh, oh yeah. Was, I wasn't, I wasn't on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But there was once a novelty in being able to type anything you wanted oh, into the Oh man, remember them? And yeah. And someone else you didn't know would instantaneously <laughs> respond. Even Neopets, a game targeted oh. at children, had chat rooms and let anyone send unfiltered oh, messages yeah. to children. Oh, yeah. Surprised, I didn't meet any weirdos. That's oh, one boy. thing that'll never oh, change man. with the internet. There will always be weirdos, weirdos in time. <laughs> in fact, most of a weirdo's life is spent behind the computer. Yes. I would know. I think people loved sending messages so much that sometimes your friend would send you a message that said, You've just been hit by the 
Duck truck. Send this message to eight of your friends. Oh, you died. The chain. The truck. Yeah. Ignore the chain message. Sixteen wheeler. You have seven days. Right. And oh my god. Instead of blocking that person, some people would will keep it. the chain going. Yeah. Hey, I have a quick question. When was the last time you ever had to type a specific website into your address bar? Yeah. Because hmm, now about ten years, give or take. Yeah. You just type in a Y, and then YouTube pops up. You yep. put in a T, you get Twitter, and P gets you pictures of alligators.com. Mm -hmm. And if you had a specific question you wanted to ask the internet, you just Yahoo it. You just right? ask. Yahoo? Oh. oh no, that's or not Bing. The kids are ask Bing. Jeeves. Bing. Isn't that I don't even think they have Ask Jeeves right? anymore, man. Yeah, that's ask gone. Ask Jeeves? See? I know there's like four main websites that everyone goes on, but back then, instead of having a social media account, People made their own websites. Yeah. yeah. So there were a bunch of different websites for you to explore. And to mm -hmm. help you find those websites, you had a few search engines mm -hmm. to pick from. All to Everyone loves never heard of that to one. dunk on Bing for even attempting to be a search and engine. Bing was trying. But back in the day, Google had some competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, I can see why Google ultimately won the search engine battle. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> Google is a great company and I would recommend Google to all my peers and co-workers. I love Google. Oh as my god. As much as I love the internet, some of the best memories we had on the computer weren't even on the internet, mm. were they? Sometimes the internet would just go down. But did that stop us? No. Did we go outside? Oh, I remember that show. No. Hamtaro? We were still yeah. able to supply mm -hmm. ourselves with hours of entertainment, even without Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yep. The, big, the ping pong All programs. Games. Yeah, games. Yep. Accessories. Games. And then... Pinball. Yo! Y'all yep. <laughs> won't know the heat that this was, bro. Awesome. Pinball. I guess it was so everyone fun. watching this right now just got hit with a big wave of nostalgia. Yes. This game might seem simple because there's only uh, two buttons. No, sometimes it'll go but straight down really the middle. Got into it, this game had a whole lot more going on. Yes. yes. Space Cadet Pinball was all we had sometimes, mm -hmm. and I cherished every second of it. But if you were anything like me growing up, oh, you were also practicing time. your art skills. And luckily, every computer came pre-installed with, with paint. top of yeah. the line painting software that every artist needs. Yep. Yep. Paint. Yeah, this program's got everything. Mm -hmm. There's a line tool and a bucket tool mm -hmm. and a circle tool. And sometimes when I was really bored, I would make a black rectangle, <laughs> scribble the freeform selection tool on yes. it, and then blammo. Yeah, I still okay, I didn't got do that it. Oh, I didn't do that part. I just made yeah. a masterpiece. And, fun James bonus tip, for some extra self-induced epilepsy, hold down control I, which will invert the colors, so your oh, masterpiece will go. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I did not know hey, that. Looks like you're trying to create a conclusion. Microsoft Word. Yes. Would you like my help? I hate help? that paper Would you clip? like my no, help? Clippy. Even when you were around, I never used you. Mm -mm. I just liked having you there to keep me company. The internet is <laughs> He'll pop up a out of nowhere. Yes. new invention that is ever changing the way we live. And we have yet to see the full effects of what being connected since birth does to a person. Mm -hmm. The fact yeah. that the accumulation of all human knowledge can now fit in your pocket? That's going to affect your day-to-day -day life. It is. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to get off the internet, touch grass, and live your life <laughs> to the fullest. Otherwise, I'd be a hypocrite and unemployed. <laughs> There's no denying all the positive things that the internet has to offer. Yay, but, but then, I'm also not going to deny the all the negative There's things that come with instant yes. gratification, too. Yes. As technology advances, so too do we advance the amount of time we spend online. Mm -hmm. The internet can connect us to a million different people and perspectives that we never would have been exposed to before. Mm -hmm. But it can also expose us to some really nasty people and perspectives. Mm -hmm. And the only thing we can do about those people is shrug and say... Remember that? thing in the Sorry. background yes that's the internet. change shape so it was like a dvd yeah. Thing, yeah better off with the internet i think so but just i don't know oh, just gosh. remember to drink water it's and stretch challenge. all right that's the lesson of this video go stretch i'm serious right now go touch your toes thank you all so much for watching this video man yeah. all this it made me feel old it made me feel very old yeah. like well you you grew up on dial
hell up. If a, if a, if a kid say that to me, bro, I, I think I'm I'm leaving. I'm quitting. I'm, Look, I'm done. Had, I remember I'm, I had a, line, a landline uh, phone in my house. Like it was on the wall. Like and like we had to like get off the computer from yeah. mom was on it, and like the cord would go all around the house. Like that's what I had. So I, used, I remember, I I was, remember that. I remember I was uh, trying to talk to this girl, mm -hmm. and then uh, all of a sudden the internet went. Uh, it's such a struggle. I know. <laughs> and and did you remember the uh, the games we used to play? Like when we did have internet, like on like a uh, Cartoon Network and like oh, the, man, the, the Nickelodeon games. Them games slapped. Like the Disney, games games. Like Them the Disney games Sweet Life like game. Sweet Life. Uh, Lilo and Stitch building like a oh, burger. Building a big sandwich. Oh, them, and, like, Disney the Channel had the, those next doors. They're games. called Flash games. They yes. had stick. Oh man. And they may be cause a virus on you. They may. <laughs> they may or may not have caused the virus. But there were flash games and they were fire, bro. They, they were, were so absolute fire. heat, man. Yes. <sighs> uh. Sorry for that nostalgia blast. He's but he's true. He's no, right though. He's Zubis right though. Like never we, know. we really grew up with it because like our parents grew up without it and then it came later. Yeah. We grew up as the internet already kind of exists, but it was yep. like on the building blocks and then yep. we got here and like now like Gen Z has like the full benefits of like. The internet. Everything, everything automatically. Yeah. So it's just like, like it's I can ooh, see. Lucky. Ooh. Yeah, because I was telling you, I was like, I don't have an addiction to the internet because there was a time where it really it was wasn't it. a thing. Yeah. So like, I'm not really addicted to social media like that, like how like younger kids would be. And I said, I see how they could be because yeah, they grew because up they grew with, with it. it. Yeah. We I grew up in a time like where it wasn't there, so yeah. I don't necessarily care for it as much as other people. And, and technically, your so. phone is a computer at this point. Like it's yeah, a mini computer. Pretty much. Like there's a like, time like where your your phone really didn't do all the stuff. It didn't do it nothing, did, bro. You couldn't do nothing but call. Call and barely, and barely text. text. You had a text. It wasn't the letters there. It was like you had to press the same number like three. Oh times my god, dog! Don't do that. I'm, I'm feeling so old. <laughs> it take you 15, 15 minutes, minutes to text. You be like, bro. To be like, hey, how are you? And that's why they was like, are you? Where are you? Yeah, that's why it went to like letters. You didn't know instead of that. Yeah, because it know. take too long. It take too to long type to type the whole word. Thing. Now you got autocorrect. You don't even need to have a spell. Right. <laughs> So, hey, all right, let me stop you know. Comment below, guys, on social media. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. This is.